my gosh, you guys. Merry New Year's, or Merry Christmas Eve. It's 8.40 in the morning. It just started snowing 20 minutes ago, so I got the car warmed up. And here we go. I told you guys it would change over down here in the town of Big Bear. So we're gonna do, uh, actually, you know what we're gonna do? So we don't have to deal with traffic. We're actually going to slide into this parking lot real quick. We're gonna take a drive around the lake going the way that people are not coming into town. A little better. All right, so just hang tight. Hang tight, hang tight. It's gonna be a little dangerous. It's a little slushy right now. But slushy means fun. Actually, you know what? Just so you guys can at least see what's going on. Maybe I won't do as long as long of a drive for this first one. But yeah, just started, but like it started coming down quick. You guys, if it had been raining or snowing this whole time, we'd have over three feet of snow already. This would be insane, but we still have a winter storm warning in effect, which is pretty crazy. So that's exciting. And I uh, hope, hope all of you are well. And I, oh man. I had my alarm set for every hour. So I knew it it, had, it it has only been snowing for freaking 20 minutes because when I woke up an hour earlier, it was still, it was still raining, there was nothing white outside. Oh, I'm so happy for you guys, man. I'm so happy for everyone coming up to visit. This is what you wanted, this is what I wanted. Hope you're okay though. At least they they kind of crashed right in front of the police department, so at least they're safe. But it, it's a small crash. Looks like everyone's okay. We're just gonna do a drive down through the village and then back out through the back streets for the first video of the day. Well, technically, the first video of the day was when I went up to Onyx Summit and found you guys snow. You guys got to see the first snow before anybody in Big Bear got to see snow. This is pretty cool. I think. I think you guys think that's cool. I don't know. No, I'm not using tire chains. That wasn't an accident. The guy just... Uh, Hold over there for a second, I guess. Really important, guys, no matter... Oh, look at, look at the line to get the snow summit. Holy crap. Holy crap. That's brutal. The sign says change, change required. Four-wheel drive with snow... Or, or four-wheel drive vehicles with snow tires. Sorry, guys. I'm tired. I am tired. <sighs> well, I love doing this. I really do. I'm just really tired. Oh man. And I have to work today too. Well, I work every day. I'm gonna use the snow as an excuse today to kind of run behind. And I'm not that type of person either. I'm a go-getter. You know, I go get it done. But yeah, this is Big Bear Boulevard, guys. Look, look how pretty it looks. Oh my God, look at how pretty it looks. Big Bear Boulevard. Big Bear Snowlevard. Okay, now this guy is kind of pissing me off. But it's, you guys know how I get in this weather. When people can like get over a lane. But it's okay. What I tell you guys is when you get someone like me behind you, who's sometimes kind of a little impatient, do not speed up, okay? Do not speed up just because my dumb A wants you to speed up. Don't do it, please. That's when the accidents happen. That's when you guys lose control. And you guys lose control because you're trying to be nice. You're trying to be considerate because you don't want to hold people up. So then when you see someone 
right behind you, you're like, I'm gonna speed up and be very nice. And then you start freaking out more, but then that's when you lose control. So yeah, you don't wanna lose control like that. And that was really weird. You guys will notice a couple minutes into the video, it went to like some like snow blindness on the video. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. But I need to be a good example for you guys. I know eventually throughout this day when the traffic gets worse and worse, I know I'm gonna get a lot more frustrated and I'm gonna be going around people, but for right now, I'm gonna be a grown up, I'm gonna be mature, and I'm gonna stay safe. I'm gonna try and stay safe the whole time for you guys. So we're going to go to the village, yay! Going to the village when it's Christmas time? Oh my God, it's Christmas Eve, I can't believe it. It's so freaking sad though, you guys. I gotta be by myself. I can't be, I'm gonna be by myself. All by myself, sitting in the corner of the room crying. I just, oh, poor me. It's quite unfortunate, but it is what it is. It's so funny when it's snowing and I'm uh, holding the camera doing these doing these videos, lots of people recognize me while I'm driving. I can tell because they're like looking, pointing and waving and smiling. <laughs> and it's so cool. It makes me feel so good. Look at that big old Santa right there. What are you looking at, Santa, huh? What are you looking at, pal? I bet you got your mom and dad with you this Christmas. <coughs> and for all, all of you who aren't with your family this Christmas, especially our brave warriors overseas, fighting for our country. We know that we're not supposed to be in any wars. I just wish you guys the very best and just peace and harmony in your hearts every day, all day throughout the Christmas holiday. Wow, I'm a poet and didn't know it. But I'm about to show it while driving on the snow. It can't see, I'd be the worst rapper ever. I'm the rapper taking a crapper. Alright, we're in the village. We're in the village. And we're driving so slow. We're in the village. And I'm loving it so. Once again, that was a magical rap. Take note, because I ain't no joke. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'll shut up for a little bit. Actually, you guys know that's impossible for me. Very few comments, well not very few, a lot of comments I get are like, can't this guy shut up? And you know what, that's very mean. Seriously. Like, that's like telling someone, can't you be skinny? <laughs> or, or, or like, can't you be taller? Like, it's like really mean. Like, I can't help it. I love what I do, and I love talking to you guys. This is the happiest times of my life, is when I get to be in the snow with you guys. Get these things going a little bit faster. Turn up the heat. Try to melt the winter wipers a little bit. Sorry about the noise, but that's part of winter, baby. So, guys, where we were last night at Onyx Summit at that elevation, do you know how much snow they possibly could get? They could still get three feet of snow up there. We could get 10 to 18 inches down here. I know I always tell you guys Highway 38 is the is the best best route from the front of the mountain range to drive up here, even though it's longer because there aren't as many cliffs to fall off of. But sometimes when, when you get up to the super higher elevation up there, sometimes there will be more snow. But it is hit and miss up there. It really is. That's a part of part of the mountain range that's very hit and miss. <coughs> we'll we'll get buried here and then they won't or the complete opposite. Or they'll get buried and we won't. But usually it's we get buried and, and they don't get as much snow. We'll have as much snow down here as they have at 8,443 feet. I feel like I look like a little bit rusky with my 
with my new Big Bear Weather More beanie. This is the Russian version of Big Bear Weather More. We drive down snow. If people get in the way, we use cannon fire. <laughs> we open up with machine gun. Guys, this is beautiful. This is freaking beautiful. This is the way I like the traffic up here. <coughs> I won't be surprised if most of today, this is how this is. The reason being is because it's gonna be really hard for me to get up here. Not just hard, I mean a freaking nightmare. Do not do it, do not do it. I want you guys to see me slam on my brakes. Oh, we just had a chance to slow it down. But I want you guys to see how great this these snow tires are with uh, this all-wheel drive and everything. And I said we were going to take the back roads home tonight. We just saw Big River Boulevard, so we are going to take the back roads. We're just going to go to our next opportunity. And I'm only driving. I'm not trying to pass these people. Just to prove it, I won't pass them. I'm just trying to drive in the big more snow. But this person to the right of me, don't, don't get in my lane. Alright, so the next street I'm going to turn up is Knight Avenue, K-N-I-G-H-T. Look, I'm hitting my brakes, no problem. Now we're going to have a little more fun. Because we're not on the main road, so we can kind of... But we are in a neighborhood, so i got to be safe. I know. any kids just taking all the fun out of it you guys this place called the alpenhorn i rented the whole place it's a it was a bed and breakfast and my friend ran it so i only paid like 400 bucks a night they charge like two thousand dollars a night for the place every single one of the seven bedrooms in that house is almost twice the size of my whole house it's a hotel i rented the whole hotel for myself <coughs> Those are the type of places I love to rent up here. Yeah, so it's a little slushy right now and we're kind of struggling getting up here, but we'll get up here. Boom, boom, boom. Now we're on Pennsylvania. We're gonna make a left on Pennsylvania. There's this one video clip that, that you see on like, uh, on like news comedy clips of these two people running in the snow at nighttime and they run by a, a news media team and the news media team stops them and say, hey, why are you running out here in the ice and snow? Like, in such like a condescending way, it's such a, it's a much better texture, it's better for your joints and and you know what, like, like we can maintain no problem and, and when we get to like, a, to like a stop sign or something, like the worst case, we can just slide right through. It's so safe and this and that. As soon as they start running away, acting all cool, they turn the cameras onto them and she eats crap so hard. And the, like just the, just the embarrassment. But obviously I felt bad because that looked like it hurt. But I mean, it was just so funny. Just like, just, just the condescension coming from them. It was hilarious. So this is slush guys. All this rain with finally a little bit of snow, it makes it rough out here. This is not easy. I kinda, like, I'm struggling getting up this hill, which is crazy. I'll make it no matter where I go up here, I promise you guys. I know what I'm doing, and I have tricks of my trade. Okay, this street can kind of suck when there's a lot of snow. The reason being is the closer we get to the street, we need to turn on up here. Like, like on the right-hand side, there are big, big little ditches that you can't see. The snow covers them. And so people will take this turn. Like, you, you see that orange post right there? That's a huge ditch right there. People will take the turn short, and then they'll end up like two tires in the air not being able to get out. I'm not, I'm not laughing at anyone individually. I'm, I'm just saying, like, pay attention to those orange little posts, you guys, because they are there for a reason. I'm telling you there is a hazard there. Oh, 
Okie dokie, we're on Ren, W-R-E-N. Oh, yay. I'm gonna get on my loudspeaker and say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Enjoy the snow. They look at me like, like I'm a cop. But I don't think that's doing anything wrong, just talking very loud outside your car. Now we're on Brownie Lane. This is going to take us all the way to Moon Ridge. Gotta hit the gas a little bit so we can get going up this hill. Getting to Sun Boulevard, that's not going to be fun though. I hope they don't give me crap. Because they're probably thinking that I'm trying to be sneaky to get to Snow Summit. Even if I say I'm going home. type of person who cares like way too much what other people think which is why like when I first moved up here if someone was right on my butt I'd, I'd be I'd speed up and then it would scare me because it was an idiot but I can't believe look now Summit Boulevard is pretty much empty what is going on it's totally empty there's no Summit right there but for right now we're just going to go across oh yeah this is so awesome this is so freaking awesome. <coughs> Let me take one more little side route. We're gonna turn on, uh, you can't even see the word, the street, Crest, is this Crestwood? Yes, it's, I think it is, you can't see. We're gonna take Crestwood to Evergreen so we can drive by some of those big beautiful houses real quick. Nick, slow down, buddy, you're in the neighborhood. Look at the snowman. That's so cool, they already made a snowman so early. I'll bet that snowman was from the last snow though because that snowman looked like he was very old and uh, needed to be in the nursing home. He was very, 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 very wrinkled. Okay, this is evergreen, folks. Actually, screw it, we're gonna go up to Moon Ridge. Or not to Moon Ridge, but to uh, Switzerland and then turn left. And that's going to be even more dangerous because there's going to be a lot more snow just on this next street because it's at the base of Snow Summit. But it's going to be awesome. And then also, it's got a pretty gnarly hill too that, that we get to climb. And then we'll just come back down through Moon Ridge. Oh yeah. So if you want to go to Snow Summit, you make it right here. If you want to go to where we're going, you want to make a left here. So you can tell there's more snow over here. And we have a river here like usual. Sometimes it's bad, bad, bad. So we just gotta kinda gut it through it. Whoop. And remember you guys, I'm making my own tracks. In the slush, it might not be a bad idea to go in other people's tracks. That's the only time I might ever say that. But typically you're gonna wanna create your own tracks because if you, if you ride in these tracks like this, you're riding in other people's car tracks that have that have pushed the snow down so tightly that it's turning into ice, really hard ice already, and you'll be sliding everywhere. So that's why I suggest just kind of get over a little bit and create your own tracks, especially in the deep snow. Look at this hill, guys. Look at this hill. So here we freaking go. Are you guys ready? I hope no one's gunning it coming down, but we're gunning it going up. So this is Switzerland Avenue, you guys. And they've got some massive homes on this street. I've showed you guys numerous times. But I don't need to point out all the houses, even though some of them are worth pointing out. 
like this guy coming up here to the left. It'd be nice to rent this for us. Look at how big that place is. I mean, look how big that place is. It takes us like a minute to drive by the whole place. Anyway, we're on Switzerland. Typically, a lot of people won't take this road because they know it's more dangerous because there's more snow and more hills. But now we're going to turn on Elm Street. Don't forget, every town has an Elm Street. This is mentioned the wipers a little bit more going because I want them to totally defrost before we get to the homestead. <coughs> them up until the next drive. I don't want them to be frozen and then making it so it's impossible to look out of the windshield. Because you'll get chunks of ice that stick to it and then it makes it hard to see out of the windshield. I guess we don't need it going that fast but we do need the heat on very high. The heat is on. Moon Ridge Road. This is the way to Bear Mountain. It is dead out here. I'm telling you, you guys, those of you who made it up here last night, you're going to have a good day skiing. You're not going to have to wait many lines at all. So we're on Moon Ridge Road right now. Once again, Merry Christmas Eve to you guys. Welcome to the snow. Uh, we're going to go around like this guy. But we're cool. Merry Christmas Eve and we'll be doing another video shortly. Peace out.